On December 13, 2025, the world awoke to a headline that sent shockwaves through aviation China's C929 completes a 12,000-kilometer non-stop test flight. In Seattle and Toulouse, industry insiders scrambled. China's first long-haul wide-body, jet, had just flown from Shanghai to Western Europe and back, a feat many thought was years away. This wasn't just a test, it was a declaration. A new challenger had arrived. For decades, Boeing and Airbus ruled the skies. Today, that story changed. The C929 in Comax Blue and White performed flawlessly, covering a distance equal to New York to Beijing. The world's assumptions about China's engineering were upended. 14 hours in the air tested every system, fuel, navigation, crew endurance. Comac's secrecy made the sudden announcement even more dramatic, maximizing global impact. The message was clear, China is no longer just assembling electronics, it's building the machines that connect the world. This flight was the result of a decade of relentless investment and ambition. For China, it was a moment of national pride and a symbol of technological self-sufficiency. The C929's journey wasn't just about an airplane, it was about reshaping the global order. The exclusive club of aviation had a new, determined applicant. The question was no longer if China would compete, but when it would lead. To grasp the C929's impact, you must understand the world it's entering. For 50 years, Boeing and Airbus have dominated large commercial aircraft, setting standards and controlling supply chains. Airlines worldwide have had little choice but to fly their planes. Boeing's legacy includes icons like the 747 and Dreamliner. Airbus countered with innovations like the A380. Together they built a fortress, deep supplier ties, global maintenance, pilot training, and complex financing. Breaking in isn't just about building a jet, it's about replicating this entire ecosystem. Many have tried, Russia, Canada, Japan, but none have cracked the long-haul market. These aircraft deals are geopolitical, tied to diplomacy and national pride. The West, through Boeing and Airbus, has controlled the arteries of global travel. Now, China's C929 is challenging not just two companies, but the very order that has ruled the skies for generations. The stakes are economic, political, and global. The C929 is more than a commercial project, it's a pillar of China's national strategy. For decades, China assembled products for others. Now, with Made in China 2025, it aims to lead in advanced tech, aerospace tops the list, a wide-body jet, is a symbol of industrial might, like an aircraft carrier or space station. China is set to become the world's largest aviation market, with trillions at stake. Until now, that money flowed to Boeing and Airbus. The C929 aims to keep it at home. This is import substitution, reducing Western dependency, creating high-value jobs, and boosting national security. Relying on foreign jets is a vulnerability. Building its own fleet is strategic autonomy. The C919 was the training ground. The C929 is the leap to global competition. It's designed to rival the best, not just serve domestic routes. This is China's bid to become a true peer in one of the world's most complex industries. The ambition is clear technological independence and global influence. The C929 is the embodiment of that vision. The 12,000-kilometer test wasn't just a number, it was a statement. In long-haul aviation, range is everything. 12,000 kilometers means Shanghai to Europe, North America or Australia, non-stop. This elevates the C929 to a true intercontinental contender. Achieving this range demands cutting-edge aerodynamics, lightweight composites, and ultra-efficient engines. Comax engineers proved they could turn theory into real-world performance. The flight was a brutal, 14-hour stress test. Systems, software, and structure all passed. Reliability is as vital as range. Airlines need both. For the first time, the C929 was more than a promise. It was proven hardware. The test flight instantly caught the attention of airline executives worldwide. Now airlines could map routes and calculate profits with real data. Comac can approach buyers with performance, not just blueprints. This flight launched the C929's global sales campaign. It's no longer just a national project, it's a commercial contender. 
the race for orders has officially begun. Stack the C929 against Boeing's 787 and Airbus's A350, and it's clear, Comac isn't just joining the race, it wants to win. The C929 seats 280 to 300, matching the sweet spot of the long-haul market. Its 12,000-kilometer range puts it on par with its rivals. Comac's strategy match performance, undercut on price, potentially 20% cheaper. For airlines, that's a game-changer. The C929 uses over 50% composites, reducing weight and boosting fuel efficiency. The cockpit features advanced avionics, the cabin promises comfort, large windows, better air, higher humidity. But Boeing and Airbus have decades of proven reliability. The C929 is still an unknown. It must prove itself over millions of flight hours. The market is always moving. Boeing and Airbus are already developing next-gen jets. The C929's debut is impressive, but the competition is relentless. The real test will be long-term performance and market acceptance. The C929's biggest vulnerability, its engines, the prototype flew with Western engines, GE or Rolls-Royce, just like the C919. This shortcut got the jet airborne, but true independence demands a homegrown engine. Enter the CJ2000 bot, China's ambitious project to build its own high-bypass turbofan. Jet engines are the pinnacle of engineering, few have mastered them. As long as the C929 relies on Western power, it's exposed to sanctions and export controls. The CJ2000 is a national security imperative, not just an engineering goal. Experts say it could take a decade to match Western performance. Early C929s will use foreign engines. The transition will be gradual. The engine's success will decide the fate of China's aerospace ambitions. Western analysts reacted with a mix of respect and skepticism. The achievement was undeniable. Designing and flying a wide-body jet 12,000 kilometers is no small feat, but one flight doesn't make a successful program. The real hurdles, international certification, mass production, and global support. Without FAA or ESA approval, the C929 can't reach most major airlines. Building a global maintenance and parts network is a massive, years-long task. Airlines are conservative, they want proven reliability and resale value. Initial sales will likely be to Chinese carriers, not global giants. Breaking into Boeing and Airbus's loyal customer base is the ultimate test. The C929's flight won a battle, not the war. The road ahead is long and uncertain. The C929 is more than a jet, it's a geopolitical move. It challenges Western dominance in advanced aerospace, threatening Boeing and Airbus's profits and influence. China will leverage its Belt and Road Initiative to promote the jet to developing nations, expanding its technological reach. This new competition could trigger trade disputes, accusations of subsidies, and tighter Western alliances. The battle for the skies will play out in boardrooms and government halls alike. The C929's rise forces Boeing and Airbus to innovate faster and compete harder. For airlines and passengers, this could mean lower fares and better planes. The jet's emergence is a catalyst for industry-wide change. The strategic rivalry between China and the West just took flight. The future of aviation will be shaped by this new, high-stakes competition. The C929's 12,000-kilometer flight may mark the true beginning of 21st century aviation. The era of a comfortable duopoly is ending. A multipolar world is emerging. This is about more than one airplane. It's about a new technological power rewriting the rules. The C929 faces daunting challenges, certification, support, and engine independence. Failure in any area could limit it to China's market, but the ambition is undeniable. Boeing and Airbus will fight to defend their turf, but ignoring China would be a mistake. The test flight proves China's resolve and growing capability. The C929 is a symbol of national will and global ambition. Whether it breaks the duopoly or forces it to evolve, aviation will never be the same. The arrival of a credible third player will reshape trade, alliances, and innovation. The sky is now open to all, 